Merry Meet everyone. You can probably tell that I've been showering because my once huge Viking hair has now been straightened and is completely, you know, wet and stuff. So uh, you can tell that I've been showering because I've been exercising and it's one of the best feelings in the world. But even though the summer vacation is filled with a lot of things to do, I tend to get really bored sometimes. And when I start to get bored, my mind starts to wander off and I'm thinking, what the heck? heck can I do? So today I'm going to be presenting some things to you that you can do when you are bored and that give you a little bit of a witchy slash wiccan slash pagan feeling that you can incorporate into your daily life and also that you can do when you're just extremely bored. One thing I like to do when I'm extremely bored and I don't really have anything in mind is just decorating my altar or rearranging my altar and making sure that everything is in place. It's really fun to experiment with your altar and it's something that I do on a regular basis when I basically have nothing to do. I don't change the main setup of the altar and I usually keep the main stuff on the altar but I experiment with like changing the altar cloth and swapping out a few items every once in a while. One thing that I started doing ever since last year was making a, a Wicca daily checklist. This is just a basic to-do list with Wicca and not a normal to-do list of course, but with tasks and things you can do uh, throughout the day. Sometimes fitting things into your schedule is pretty hard and keeping things simple is sometimes crucial and a checklist can help you a lot with that. You can spend a lot of time decorating your checklist and making it look really really pretty. You've probably seen my herb box a couple of times or maybe once or twice. This is just a box that I use for my personal very common herb that I usually use a lot in my practice. You can carve symbols into it, you can color it with colors, and you can decorate it on the inside as well. Speaking of an herb box, I also have two crystal boxes where I have my quartz crystals and my stones and my just crystals in general. I'm a big fan of crystals and I like to keep them in a secure, or not that secure space, but a you know, a funny space, and I like to decorate uh, boxes that have had candy in them, and uh, the other box I have I got for my birthday for a few years ago, and I have used it a lot for my crystals. So you can decorate that one as well and customize it and do all sorts of fun things with it. Here is one thing I've been doing a lot recently, and that is um, doing macrame and using string to like create um, creative art or things. You can braid the thread, you can use macrame or do macrame, and you do not have to be a master at doing it. Me personally, I'm not a master at it, but I absolutely love doing it, and it's something that can really pass the time, because um, depending on what you use the string for, you can definitely use a lot of time doing that. In case you didn't know, I'm also a huge fan of dream catchers, and uh, I've probably been talking a little bit about them in some other videos that I've done. I bought this dream catcher at a flea market once, but you can very well pass the time by making your own dream catcher. And speaking of dream catchers, I actually bought a pair of dream catcher earrings a few days ago. What do you think? Mmm, beautiful. Whatever the case may be, dream catchers are absolutely awesome. Something that everyone can do, but that doesn't take a lot of resources, is drawing. You can draw everything from symbols, uh, sigils, or what it's called amulets and you can write things, write poems, write stories, write sentences. Speaking of writing, you've probably also heard me talking a lot about studying and writing alphabets. Yes, I'm completely into, for example, studying the Themen alphabet, also known as the Witch's alphabet, and it's actually very entertaining. It really passes the time and it's something that not everybody can do or does and it's definitely something you can do that's unique. The Theban alphabet... Uh, okay, um, what, what was it again? Am I speaking English or Norwegian now? Okay, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's easy to get confused. Um, struggles of being bilingual. Anyways, and you can of course just study in general. You can study sigils, you can study planets, you can study 
you know, whatever. Also, the Theban alphabet. You can study correspondences of herbs, crystals, gods and goddesses, whatever. Other things you can, of course, do is exercising, as I mentioned earlier. Very fun and good activity that's very important for your health and your life, basically. The things that I've mentioned for you now are things that I occasionally do when I'm bored, and it's to give you inspiration. But even some of these things tend to get boring at some point. And guess what? Come to think of it, being bored isn't all that bad either. In today's world, you know, we have a tendency to have the need to do something at every given moment, and sometimes just sitting back and allowing yourself to be bored is a little bit healthy, so that you get used to the fact that uh, things don't have to be going on all the time in order for things to be relaxing and fun and uh, sometimes just sitting back and allowing yourself to relax and just rest a little bit without having something to do every time you're bored or all the time. I I think that may be a little bit healthy, actually. But I do hope you are inspired by these ideas that I've presented to you. So if you did find this video inspirational and you are inspired to do some of these things or to do some of your own personalized activities, comment down below. And if you have some more suggestions, also comment that down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day and blessed be from my pagan life.